Welcome everybody back to the Dark Knight Rider Games channel here on YouTube. Today we're going to play some Madden NFL 23 and we're going to play with my favorite team, the Dallas Cowboys, and go up against the Los Angeles Chargers. Of course, this is the game that's coming that uh, will air today, Saturday the 20th. So, um,. Let's get started and see who's going to win, obviously, more than likely, Cowboys, so, for me. I mean, in real life, don't know what's going to happen, but we'll, we'll have to wait and see what happens, actually, when the real game starts. But uh, with that being said, let's get right into this video. the NFL on EA Sports and today's clash of conferences is just moments away it's the Dallas Cowboys and the Los Angeles Chargers and it comes your way next on Madden Football we are just a couple miles east of the LAX airport just off the 405 or the 105 at the beautiful SoFi Stadium in Inglewood Coming up, we've got what should prove to be a good one between the Dallas Cowboys and the Los Angeles Chargers. With Charles Davis, as always, I'm Brandon Gordon. And Charles, you talk about storylines in this one. I think it begins and ends with our two quarterbacks, certainly two of the best in the business. And nowadays, I don't think you can get by for long periods of time without a top-flight quarterback. The way the game is played, with all the responsibility he has and how the game flows through him, if he's not on the top of his game, your team's not going to benefit at all. Two teams more than ready to get this one started. And we are underway in Southern California. Fielded just outside the goal line. And makes it across the 20 as his guys will set up shop at the 23-yard line. The Charger offense makes its way out for the first time in this ball game and leading the way, already a star in just his third season, it's Justin Herbert. It feels like hyperbole, but it's actually reality. In only two seasons, We've seen Justin Herbert do things rarely or never seen before in the NFL. He's one of only nine quarterbacks now with a 5,000-yard passing season and made the Chargers a top-five offense for the first time since 2010. He's also the only quarterback to ever throw at least 30 touchdowns in each of his first two seasons and set a record for completions over that same span. Yeah, not much there. Maybe a yard up to the 24. Sometimes you just have to give credit to the defense. Great job there at the point of attack, holding up. They won their battles at the line of scrimmage, left him no space to try and run. A really nice job swarming to the ball carrier. Meanwhile, Herbert's throw there complete to Allen. They'll wind up getting seven on the play. And now two yards to go on third down. They'll come to the line needing only two yards to gain the first here. Third and two, Herbert. Into heavy traffic, and it's intercepted. And his guys are going to get the football at the 37-yard line. Not something you see very often from a quarterback of his caliber, an opening drive interception. Oh, there's no doubt in my mind that even he's surprised at how that one played out. But we know this guy is not going to stop him from continuing to fire as this game goes along. Probably give a little nod of respect across the field for that one and let him know he'll be back the very next series. The Cowboys taking the field on offense, and for a seventh season, it's Dak Prescott who brings him out. And not only was it great to see Dak Prescott make his return in 2021, it was even better to see him playing the best ball of his career. 
He didn't lead Dallas to just a division title in its best record in six years. Dallas also led the league in yards and points the first time that he's led in both since 1971. And they'll run the option to start the drive. Give him 10 yards on the keeper, and it'll lead to a second down. And this, I mean, it's certainly something to watch out for. He is not afraid to call his own number on plays like that, and here he takes it for good yardage. And we know this defense prepared all week for this, but sometimes when you see it in person, it's a whole different ball game, and all that preparation, it goes right out the window. Now the first carry for Ezekiel Elliott. And he is into the end zone for a Cowboy touchdown. 27 yards for Ezekiel Elliott. And the Cowboys take the early turnover and convert it into an opening touchdown. So that a very nice looking touchdown run. And on his first carry of the game as well. And you remember, Brandon, we talked to him yesterday. And he thought he was going to have a big game. He thought everything aligned perfectly. He liked what the defense was presenting, and he really liked what he was getting from his blockers. Point after, right down the middle. And it's now a 7-0 game. Hardly any time taken off the clock there. Two plays, and they find the end zone for six points. The kick team out there for the Cowboys as they run up to send this one away. This will be fielded inside the five. And up to about the 26-yard line, just across the 25. The Chargers get set to go here for their second drive. Now remember the last time out, they threw the interception. That led to the touchdown, so now time to regroup. It certainly is, and their goal right now as they go back out on the field, a calming drive, something that takes the ball, keeps it for a while, lets the defense relax a little bit, and lets the offense regain confidence in their game plan. And the Cowboys' pressure gets there this time for the sack. Multiple players combined for their team's first sack of the game. And they weren't in zone coverage, they were in man, and each man did his job. And that looked like vintage, old-school coverage, didn't it? Man coverage reminded me of an old Raiders team. They had a Hall of Famer at one corner and a defensive player of the year at the other, and they just locked people down. Imagine the pass rush will be equally intense here on second down following the sack. It's second and 18. Herbert will give this one to Eckler. And not a whole lot to speak of there as they'll bring him down shy of the 20. And they only get a yard back there. They'll be left with a third down and long. Here's Herbert. And this pass broken up. Well, the contact well timed there, and now fourth down. On fourth down, J.K. Scott ready to punt it away. C.D. Lamb deep for the Cowboys. Take it at the 37. Now a hit and a loose football. And his guys are going to take over at the 39-yard line. I feel like you and I could be in our backyard with our dads right now. What do they always say when they're throwing us the ball? Look it all the way in. Make sure you secure it. That had the feeling of not happening there on that play, that he didn't have full control of the ball. When that punt's coming in, I don't have a return punch, but I would imagine it's tough to monitor those guys coming full steam ahead. Eh? It really is. You try and get that peak to know where they are about whether you should fair catch it or not. But sometimes you just have to have a, a sense, a feeling, and just have to make sure, number one, though, you catch the ball and put it away. From the 36, Herbert. Uh, nowhere to go for Herbert, and he's going to go down. Demarcus Lawrence just would not be denied. That's a loss of seven. A CD, you know, so often we talk about quarterbacks holding on to the ball too long. Well, we can't say that there. He had no time to do much of anything. Yeah, that's one where you turn to your lineman and say, uh, guys, 
Can't get a little help here. And you have to ask politely, because remember, they're blocking for you the entire game. But as a quarterback, you've also got to have the clock running in your head when you need to get rid of the football. But this time, he had no chance. They were on him instantly. And they'll get this down to the 42-yard line. And if you're wondering how quick a quarterback's decision-making needs to be, a next-gen stat says that play took all of 2.8 seconds from beginning to end. Well, we hear so often how tackling has become almost a lost art in the NFL game, but it's so important to tackle well on these receivers, especially in a play like this one. Third down, they gave him the underneath stuff. you got to go and make the tackle right away. On is the punter Scott here as he gets this one away. And this will be up to the ruling of the side judge here. He says it crossed out of bounds at the 16-yard line. Second drive forthcoming here for the Dallas Cowboys. They have to be thrilled with that first drive that got him the touchdown. Now they'll be looking to make it a two-score advantage here on the road. And you know they spent all week in practice in meetings talking about taking an early advantage. Being the road team, going up a score, that takes the crowd out of the game and puts some doubt in the minds of their opponents. Going to take a shot for Gallup. Well, this is taken in. It's complete. Touchdown, Cowboys. Michael Gallup, 84 yards. And the Cowboys are able to strike quickly to add on to their lead. Another impressive drive. So they're two for two, two touchdowns. Charles, a great start to this ball game for them. And one of the words has really worked its way into our lexicon is stacking. They've stacked momentum each time out, not only on offense. Between those touchdowns, defense held, forced a punt to get the ball back, and they played awfully well in this one. Both sides playing at optimum level. Extra point splits the uprights, and it's now 14 to nothing. Those are the ones the offensive coordinators dream about. One play drives from that distance. What an effort. It results in the touchdown. The kick team out there for the Cowboys as they run up to send this one away. Taken at the goal line. And he's able to get this across the 20, but not by much, as he's marked down officially at the 21. Now the Chargers offensive unit ready to see what they can do here. They're still in search of an initial first down as they come up here first and 10. Now it's Herbert. And he will go down. Cowboys sack. Demarcus Lawrence. Now two sacks for him already here in this first quarter of play. And that is the third sack this offensive line has allowed this first quarter. Yeah, that puts him on pace. Let me do the rudimentary math here. To be sacked 12 times in a game. I know he's not going to go for that. I wonder if it's going to reshape what they decide to do on offense in terms of play calling. Well, I can tell you what. When he popped up, shaking his head, frustrated right now behind center. Got to assume this defense will be charging again here. It's second and 15. Up the middle with that one. And he lost the football. Wow. That ball gets knocked free. But a teammate comes along and scoops it up. Almost like, it's almost like baseball. Guys at bat, people are on base in scoring position. One guy doesn't get them home. The next guy comes through and picks him up. And avoids the turnover. And they'll get 10 there, but it leaves them just short for fourth down. Charger football to start quarter number two. Here's J.K. Scott set to do the punting honors. He's been a busy man here in this first half as he gets it away. Lamb to return it. A nice return there of 11 to help mitigate a good punt. And the Cowboys will take over the football with a first and 10. And now this offense comes back out onto the field. 
Well, partner, you know, coaches always say that every play is designed to score a touchdown. Sometimes that's not really true, but last drive, that was the case. One play to get into the end zone, and now they'll try to duplicate that success here. And it's rare for those moments to happen. Incredible when they do. And you saw the celebration. Pure, unbridled joy after that one. And it's intercepted. Picked up by J.C. Jackson. And the Chargers will have the football as this is taken out past the 30. Well, you know, this offense has had their way for the most part here in this first half. At that time, maybe they got a little greedy. Well, it is hard to blame them, isn't it? Because like they said back in the 1980s, greed can be good. Stick with what's been working. But that time, I think he got a little bit too much air under that one, and it turned into a turnover that was much needed by that defense. And now out on the field, here comes Los Angeles. Not only are they in search of their first score, they're in search of their first first down in this ballgame as they come up first and ten. They started on the ground with Eckler, and he'll scratch out only about a yard up to the 32. Yeah, things were pretty stacked up there in the middle of the line. A lot of bodies, not much space. I think ultimately, he was fortunate to get anything out of that run. Here's second and nine, just a yard on that last run. Back to throw here, Herbert. For Keenan Allen, that's complete. And he's corralled at the 40, but not before picking up eight. And this offense on third down today, not good. 0 for 4 thus far. They're up against a third and one situation. Give him another one right back to Allen. And he is going to have the Chargers first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Yeah, these are the types of players they're going to need to hit on if they're going to get back into this game. It hasn't been the greatest of first halves, but this is a nice throw here on third down, and they keep the drive going. the play action and the Cowboys pressure gets there this time for the sack Dorrance Armstrong it'll go as a loss of about eight as he gets in there to drop him so that now four first half sacks this pass rush has been unrelenting and partner you hear that sound of paper being ripped to shreds that's a game plan that they've had so far because they've got to say to themselves right now we have to do something differently Sacks, a growing theme in this first half. This is second and long. Eckler now between the tackles. And the running lanes non-existent in this first half as they'll stop him behind the line. It'll be a loss of a full three yards there, and it also brings up third down. The running lanes have definitely not been there for him here in the first half, and I don't think it's all been his fault. His offensive line hasn't given him much space. A loss results there. Need something from deep in the bag of tricks here after first and second down went backwards. It's third and very long. A shotgun snap for Herbert. Got an open man. It's Josh Palmer. And they're able to work this across midfield to the 48. They didn't get the first down, but I have to say I do like the call. I like what they were trying to do. Try and hit your receiver on the run and see if he can pick it up. Keep it on his feet. Get a little rack yardage. Yeah, but a nice job defensively to get to him and keep him short of the first. Here's J.K. Scott now as he'll punt it away for the fourth time today.
And this one will sail out of bounds. It'll depend on the spot here. And the side judge says that went out at the seven-yard line. Let's go old school there. That's absolutely a great coffin corner punt. Someone's put some time in working on that, hasn't it? Seems like every year these guys get better and better. It's amazing how they can command that football through the air. Yeah, they used to actually practice with hula hoops where they place them and try and put them there. Now a lot of guys use barrels on the sidelines to try and put the football in one. They'll start the drive with Elliott. And some room to work. And way up past the 35 before he's taken down. 57 yards rushing for him now in his first two carries in the ball game. Outside handoff to the right side. If you're a running back, you love getting the ball early, so you have vision to see what's happening in front of you. Right tackle likes that call. Big play for him, but don't forget about the guys you always tell me on the backside sealing off. When they talk about cutoff blocks, making sure no one can leak from the backside that can run a play down. Yeah, nobody leaked. Big play. Scott looks to throw on first. He'll find Lamb. That's complete. 20. Touchdown, Cowboys. Two first half touchdown passes now for Dak Prescott. And the Cowboys have moved out in front by three touchdowns. We talk about just coming in and completely seizing momentum. They can go up 21 to nothing here. We haven't even hit halftime. And the other part of this, you can start to feel the unrest here in the stadium. I think these fans are saying, what hit us? And this isn't about fantasy points. This is about rooting their team on. No going for two. They'll kick the point after. And it is now 21 to nothing. The long touchdown pass gets him six on a very, very tidy two-play drive that time. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. Fields it right around the goal line. And beyond the 20, but not by much. In fact, just a yard pass there to the 21. And the L.A. offense ready for this next possession. Well, C.D., you kind of feel like they're in a bit of a danger zone right here because now you're down three scores. And I know we're in the first half, but the way this offense hasn't been able to generate anything, you feel like they probably need to get something going on this drive, right? Yeah, and sometimes I overuse that this is an important possession. But I think this has to be the possession where they come up with an answer because only a few teams in league history have ever come back from a four-score deficit. And if they don't score here, that's what they could be facing the next time they get the ball. Well, Charles, this has been something to watch so far. This is where you really feel for a quarterback. He's been running for his life in this first half. Brandon, that's five sacks already, so you know he's got to be saying, can we get some more guys in here to block, please? Because if we don't, we're going to need another quarterback. Throwing on second and long. Herbert. Herbert has it knocked free. It's picked up by the Cowboys. And first and goal is what it will be at the six-yard line. Excellent field position. That feels like an accumulation of the pressure we've seen all game. I mean, he's been on the turf a whole lot because of sacks. Eventually, something else happens as well. And this time, it was a turnover. Yeah, caught up to him. A chance to really cap off a big first half here as they come up on first and goal. Now Elliott. And that'll hurt the 
average a bit as this time they're able to get him behind the line. A loss of two there, second down. And that's what I'd like to see out of this defense, a little fire, a little toughness. It hasn't been the best first half for them, but they did do a nice job there, forcing a loss on that play. And this ball is caught by Lamb. Touchdown, Dallas. Three touchdown passes now for Dak Prescott. And the Cowboys are able to add on to their first half lead. Extra point right down the middle. And that makes the score 28 to nothing. They have the short field and they made quick work of it. Just two plays to get into the end zone. is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. This taken in at the goal line. And his guys will get the football right at the 20-yard line. The Chargers going to take over now late in this first half. And with the score where it is, even though I think they'd love to get back to the locker room, they may be forced to try and get something out of this drive. They'll fake the handoff. Now Herbert. And he will go down. A Cowboy sack. The Chargers going to signal for the first of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 37 seconds to play in this first half. Sacks, a growing theme in this first half. This is second and long. Another try after the first down sack. Herbert. Finds the open man, it's Mike Williams. And he'll have this past the 30 prior to going out of bounds. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. Herbert now. And he can't escape and down he goes. Demarcus Lawrence, my goodness, make that now five sacks for him in this ball game. Really, really turning in an incredible performance. So that time, Charles, a quarterback helpless really in the pocket in the face of a pass rush like that. They were on him instantly. The final shot before the break for Herbert. And he's going to go down. Couldn't get a throw off with a pressure. Maybe that was for the best, as that brings us to the end of this first half of play. So we have reached halftime here with the visiting Cowboys out on top. As we send you to our EA Studios in Orlando, here's Jonathan Coachman with our EA Sports Halftime Report. Okay, Brandon, thanks very much. And welcome in everyone to our downtown Orlando studios in this EA Sports Halftime Report. First, though, let's get a check on the next-gen stats from that first half for the Cowboys. And the ground game has been a big part of why they have this big lead. And you have to figure they'll lean on it a little bit more in the third and fourth quarters. And meanwhile, for the Chargers, they did even less on the ground as they've struggled to get the run game going. Final adjustments being made for the second half. Whether they'll amount to much in a game that's already pretty well decided, well, that's another question. Nevertheless, let's get you back out to Brandon and Charles. Okay, Coach, thanks. Yeah, that's something to consider. Are we in for more one-way traffic here in the second half? It has not been a competitive game to this point. This will be fielded inside the five. And a good return as he'll be stopped just shy of the 30-yard line. The Cowboy offense set to go to begin this third quarter. And it's hard to imagine that the first half could have gone any better for him. So what's the approach here in the second half? Just continue to play smart football because they got the other team down and they feel good about the position they're in. The obvious thing people would say is just keep attacking, but I think you also have to be smart about it. Avoid turnovers. That's about the only thing that can derail you at this point. Attack, but make sure you take care of the ball. And room to run as he's up past the 35-yard line. 62 yards rushing for him now to this point. A good run got seven on first. Here's second and three. Again, it's Elliott. They find some open field here. Ezekiel Elliott going to take it the distance. Touchdown, Cowboys. Ezekiel Elliott. Second touchdown of the afternoon. 
road. And the Cowboys come right out of the locker room and score here in the opening minute of the third quarter. And he certainly played a pivotal role with those two TDs and why they're up on the scoreboard right now. Well, someone's all about winning, aren't they? Because he's not worried about the number. Sure, it's great to have two touchdowns. But the bottom line is what he's doing is contributing to their lead. He wants to continue to do so. Now for the point after. And he's been a busy man. Five for five now as he knocks another one through to extend the lead. It only took him two plays there to find the end zone. The last one, the long run, getting him in for six points. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. DeAndre Carter now from his end zone. And he's up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. Now we'll look at the Chargers' offense. They get ready for their first possession of the second half. Herbert going to lead up the Chargers here, first and 10 at their own 22. He'll hand off here to Eckler. And they're able to get this one across the 35. First play of the drive going for 14 and a first down. Now Herbert with it looking to pass. And the Cowboys pressure gets there this time for the sack. Dropped for a loss of seven by multiple defenders. Uh, you can just see it in their body language. They're starting to see victory on the horizon now. And if it comes to fruition, they got to give a game ball to the front seven. Defensive line has taken charge and controlled this game. Face a challenge of stopping this opposing offense, and they've done so with ease. Don't need it all back at once, but you figure they're going to need something here. 17 yards to go on second down. Another try after the first down sack. Herbert escaping the pressure right. It'll be a loss of 15 on the play, and that'll bring up a third down and very long. Boy, a tough spot here as they approach the line of scrimmage. A long way to go to try to pick up this first down. Now on third and forever, he'll look to throw. And he's going to be brought down. Back in his own six-yard line. Multiple players getting home there for an eight-yard loss. It's been a tough one all game long for this offensive line. They're already down big. And now you know they're just going to come after the quarterback in a big way, don't you? Yeah, that they just can't get out of their own way right now. It's created an avalanche, and an avalanche is coming right on top of it. Here's J.K. Scott now as he's on for the fifth time here today. And he deserves a bronze leg as he gets this one away. He had his sights on the end zone, no doubt, but is brought down after a huge return there. And this offense not able to believe their good fortune, probably. First and goal at the two. Elliott will score. Touchdown, Cowboys. Well, on the other sideline right now, it's just absolute dejection. But, Charles, let's focus on the positive. With the lead that they've built here, they've done pretty much everything to perfection in this ball game. They certainly have. Makes me think that their week of preparation was excellent. And they flowed into this game, and it carried over. And right now, I don't expect them to back off at all. They're playing so well, they just want to keep it going. Point after, right down the middle. And it is 42 to nothing. Chargers nothing. The kick team out there for the Cowboys as they run up to send this one away. Taking it about the one. And no alley to be found. The coverage was solid, and he's dropped at the 18. The Chargers ready to take over. But we're still in the third quarter, so there's some time to kind of clean this up and make it look more respectable. Now, a win, that's probably gone out the window, Charles. But 
I don't know. Do you look at this as a time to just improve and maybe start to look towards the future? I think you have to find something to play for, something to grasp onto until the clock runs out. But Brandon, we've been around this game a long time. This is an outlier. You don't get many blowouts like this no matter how the game looks on paper going in. This one has turned out to be everyone's worst nightmare realized. And he'll get this up to the 34-yard line. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. Out of the gun, Eckler running it. Solid move, but he's corralled just beyond the 40. So they'll come up after the gain of seven on a second and three. Off the play fake to Eckler, it's Herbert. And he will find his man on the outside. And now we're going to get a stoppage. A member of the Cowboys shake it up. More from L.A. in a moment. Nothing in that first half, nothing on the last drive, but they're moving now with a first and ten. Here's Herbert. Forced out to his left. It won't be a sack, but it's no gain, and it brings up second down. Brandon, I think he's just grateful to get back to the line of scrimmage and avoid not just losing yardage, but a big hit on that play as well. That defense closed on him quick and forced a quick surrender out of bounds. Here's a throw-out wide complete to his running back right side, and he is going to lose yardage here. So they'll wind up losing five yards on the play, and they're going to be staring at a third and long here. Boy, how good has this defense been seemingly all game long? I really think right from the first snap, I think you're really onto something there in this passing game. It just can't get off the ground. And that play, it wound up losing yardage. Seventh play of this drive coming up, but a long way to go on third down. Draw play, it's Eckler. And he is going to lose yardage here. A loss of a yard, and it brings up four. This defense is just flat getting after it. They have not given up much of anything in the run game. Case in point right there. Before they can get the punt away, whistles as we've come to the end of the third quarter of action. We'll return with more after this. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. Here's J.K. Scott now, as they're forced to kick for the sixth time today. And good hustle here, as this is going to be blown dead right at the nine-yard line. Well, someone's going to be happy with that effort. You know who else is going to be happy? His defense. Absolutely. <laughs> He's created a very long field for that offense to try to traverse. And he got some help from Mr. Football there, checking up nicely. Good English on that punt. They start on the ground with Elliott. And some room to maneuver. And he'll be out of bounds, but able to get it up past the 45. 166 yards rushing for him now as he has been tremendous all day long. I know that play went to the left side, and that's what it was designed to do, an outside handoff there. But how about the whole offensive line being involved? Seal the left side where the play was going, where they call play side. But how about on the back side? Just taking care of business to make sure no one can get there and disrupt it. Is the biggest key the left tackle? Without a doubt. Control that edge. Get out there. You want that left tackle, or if you bring your tight end over there, either way, control the edge of the line of scrimmage, you got a chance to rumble. Well, I tell you, there is no antidote for speed, even at the quarterback position, as he keeps it himself and turns it into good yardage. And it still takes time for a defender to react, even as quarterbacks carry the ball more and more in today's NFL. They're still a little bit in disbelief and realize, oh my goodness, he's running with the ball. He may be 8, 10, 12 yards downfield at that point. And down right around the 32-yard line, four yards on the pickup. On second down, Elliott. And he will cross the 30 down to the 29-yard line. Three yards is half of what they needed. Now can they get the other three here on third down? Coming up here looking for three yards to pick up the first. 
They'll try and pick it up by running the action to the right. And he won't be close to a first down as he runs into a wall right around the line of scrimmage. Call it no gain on the keeper, and it's going to bring up a fourth down. So now on fourth down, Mike McCarthy will turn to his field goal unit. From the right hash, it's a 46-yard attempt. And this one is right down Broadway. And that will extend their lead even further. Well, ultimately, not really sure that they're going to need those three points, but they'll take the three, and they pad that lead. Yeah, this one's already wrapped up, but you and I both know, if you're an offensive coordinator, you never let up on the gas unless the head coach tells you to do so. And maybe you've actually clicked him off in your headset so that you can keep calling plays and trying to add to this lead. And the decision to bring it out, not a good one, as he's tackled at the 15. Here's a Los Angeles offense as they get set to take possession. And let's face it, this drive is not going to have any bearing on this game, but it's kind of important for one reason, isn't it? It certainly is. you got to get points. And okay, all right, I'm being facetious here. But you get points, you feel a little bit better about yourself as you move on to the next one. Herbert and the Chargers now with a first and 10 at their own 15. They'll try and start this drive in the air. Dance into his left. Oh, and the throw led him too much that time. It's incomplete. And that's another play that's painted the picture of this game overall. It's been a blowout. It's been continually fueled by big turnovers and stops for one side and an inability to advance the ball from the other. Now he's going to swing this one out to his running back. And he's taken down, but not before he gets this across the 25-yard line. On first and ten, Herbert. Oh, this one incomplete. The pressure got to him as he released it. And it's second down. So now they'll come up on second and ten once again from the 28. Again, Herbert. Over the middle, and it's caught. Keenan Allen. And down right around the 32-yard line, four yards on the pickup. One thing I think that's safe to say defensively, the tackling's been really good. And because of that, it's been very, very hard for them to move the ball because you're not getting the benefits of run after catch. They're tackling them almost on the spot. That means you have to run extra plays, harder to move it. The Chargers on third down. Just one conversion and eight tries. Not good. This will be third and six. And he'll go right back to Allen. That's complete. And he is going to have the Chargers first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Just two minutes remaining here in the fourth quarter of what has been a one-sided affair. So it's Charger football as we welcome you back from the two-minute warning. They've got a first and ten as they search for a late score. A couple of first downs to kick off the drive. Here's first and ten up at the 46. Try to get it to Williams, but it's intercepted. Picked off by Jordan Lewis. And the Cowboys are going to take possession here at their own 47-yard line. Well, this game was already decided, Charles, let's be honest. But now another feather in the cap of this defense as they pick him off for the second time. You're right about that. Things have been going pretty well for them, to put it mildly. But they're still out there hunting for big plays and get another one right there. And out now come the Cowboys. And a few kneel downs should just about do it. Now, defensively, they do have all three timeouts, but very little reason to use them at this point. They'll try and run some clock now with Elliott. 176 yards rushing for him now as his sensational afternoon continues. Well, partner, I know this type of running back. I mean, this size, this intensity usually gets better as the game goes on. And I just tell you from experience, the first few quarters, oh, you're eager. You come running up there. I'm going to tackle this guy. By the fourth quarter, you're coming up and thinking about it. And D-line wearing down fourth quarter. Yeah, that's not a guy they want to see consistently. And he stopped immediately there. Call it no gain on the keeper, and it's going to bring up a third down. Well, for that being an option play, there really weren't too many options available for him, were there? No, there weren't, and at least he was able to get back to the line of scrimmage, so he didn't lose anything, but you're exactly right. Nowhere to go. And they'll try and run the option to pick it up. 
A solid gain of seven yards that time on the keeper and a first down. Well, he is certainly dangerous when he spots a lane and he keeps it himself there and worked out well. And how about the moving parts on a play like this? You know you have to practice it over and over because it's almost like a ballet that has to be choreographed. But how about once he made the decision to go, he committed to it and went. Let's face it, most teams are going to defend the running back much more than the quarterback on that type of a play. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. Prescott going to keep again. And they will only muster a yard here to the 38. Only a yard on the keeper, and it'll be second down. Charles, when you look at the stat sheet, you realize that both sides of the ball were so dominant in this game. And on offense, not only did they score it, but they did it through the air as well as on the ground. Everything was working. And you know that the guys who scored the touchdowns who contributed that way that threw them or ran them. They're going to find our cameras and have a big grin for them. But I hope our cameras find that offensive line. How versatile were they? Move the ball on the ground, move people so they could run it, and then protected their passers so they could throw it.